We're in Edinburgh, trying to find the perfect home for Siobhan and Danilo for around £200,000. A tall order in a city where space is at a premium and the prices are going through the roof. We've seen four properties so far. The first they liked, but the carport was a no-go. The second, the garage was too far away. At the third, they walked in and back out. But the fourth, Siobhan loved. Now we've got two more for them to view. The further out we go, the more likely they are to get a garage and garden for their budget. Our first house is in Castorfin, four and a half miles from the city centre. On for offers over £175,000. This bungalow has everything our couple need and more. They want space, they've got it. What we have here is a three bedroom detached house with a big sitting room, an even bigger kitchen and yet another family room built on at the back. Yes, it's got the garage. Yes, it's got the garden. But Siobhan's having an adverse reaction. It's all very well done. Loads of space, perfect family home. And it's just everything I'm not. Well, I actually quite like this place. It, it, it's a bit out of town, but not too far out of town. It's very practical. I stayed in a house that was sem quite similar in the suburbs before. And it, it says everything to me that's negative, that I don't want to be. And I, yeah. What, bad associations? Very bad associations. So could Danilo ever convince Siobhan of the charms of suburbia? I'm quite upset if I was made to live here. I'd leave you. Quite straightforward with that. You too? Uh, I couldn't. I'm actually feeling <laughs> quite upset. Suburbia then, a big no-no for Siobhan. So before there's more trouble, we're heading right back into town. Our final property is in one of the most sought-after areas in Edinburgh. It may look like a rural idyll, but the Dean Village is less than 10 minutes' walk from the city centre, where Siobhan works. This modern Wearside house is on at offers over £190,000. The style complements the old Mews properties around it. It's got the garage all right, but again, it's going to stretch their budget. Come on in. The house is arranged over three floors, and though it's new build, it's got a cottagey feel. On the ground floor, there's a useful utility area hidden behind the internal garage. On the first floor, there's a snug kitchen and a separate dining room. And the biggest space is the light and bright living room at the back of the house. The two bedrooms are in the roof space. Downstairs is the playing and tinkering bit, and upstairs is the living bit. Really nice. Lovely, isn't it? Very nice. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Now, I think this room looks slightly smaller than it is because of the arrangement yes. of the furniture. But what doesn't need rearranging is the view from the back door. Come and have a look. Isn't this fantastic? This house has its own private balcony that overlooks the water of Leith. What a result in the heart of a city. One of the reasons we brought you here was because we hoped that it would have the marriage between the the convenience and practicality that Danilo was looking yeah. mm -hmm. and the central location that was more important to you. Mm. Mm. And the atmosphere. It is a modern house, yeah. but it has the old houses in the Muse opposite mm. and it's one of the best new builds I've, I've seen. I mean, it, it's really beautifully done. And here you do get a fantastic view. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This property is five years old, so most of the teething problems associated with new houses will have been sorted but it's still worth being vigilant. As you can see, there's a patched up crack on the ceiling with watermarks around it. If you see something like that, trace it. Think what's above it and go and find out what's causing the problem. In this case, it looks like it's a water problem. And here we have the solution. The silicon around the shower tray is completely perished. It needs to be replaced. Hey, it's a good sized garage in here. Well, the garages fairly speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room. Plenty of room, yeah. Have we struck gold? Do I hear a hint of excitement in Danilo's voice? This is a great house, it really is. He thinks it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but how can Siobhan tell him she doesn't like it? The trouble is this is the only house he's ever walked into and said, I really like this. If you shouted loud enough, she'd bring oh. you down a cup of tea. Oh, I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> Nor do I. Feeling quite upset actually. <laughs> Siobhan's always favoured traditional properties, but can Danilo change her mind? I know it's got a hell of a lot of character for a modern house, but mm. I'm still thinking no, modern. No. <laughs> it doesn't look like a modern house though. Feels like one. Yeah. I think this is just a, such a cool location. I don't think we can overlook it. I'm not it. looking for cool, I'm looking for nest and home for the next 15, 20 years. I'm not looking for something that's bijou cool that will be fine for three, four years and then I'll think. Mm. Ah. 
Oh dear, it's stalemate. Danilo's digging his heels in and Siobhan's heart lies elsewhere. This is not going well, not going well at all. We've seen a good and varied selection of properties and we've had discussions about the constraints of all of them, but I just don't think we're getting anywhere. It's day two in the ancient city of Edinburgh. And let's hope that a good night's sleep has clarified things. At this stage, it's time to take a second, hard, objective look at any houses that are still strong contenders. Uh, we're talking about the traditional uh, Laverock part, Laverock, uh, yeah. which was yeah. absolutely gorgeous and is my dream home. And mine. And we've discovered that Danilo loves the Muse style. Mm -hmm. um, but within that, I have to consider whether or not I'd be happy in a modern build. I'd like Siobhan to see the Muse flat again so we can uh, persuade her. <laughs> no, I'd like that's, him to see the Muse. We'd like you to see Laverock Bank Road yes. so that we can persuade you again. Mm, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so it's the traditional versus the modern. The view of the sea versus the city location. They both have garages, so which is best? Priced at offers over 190 and 195. They'll go for at least 30 grand more. Either way, our couple will have to rethink their budget. First, it's back to Siobhan's favourite, Lavrock Bank Road, the three-bedroom Victorian villa with that luxury bathroom and stylish interiors. Back in this fab kitchen. Gorgeous one. I think you've got to watch with this. It's probably going away with the current owners. It's ah. freestanding. There's a big fashion for freestanding kitchens at the moment. Never assume that something will be included in the sale. Your solicitor will have a list of what's staying and what's not. If you want something, ask. Also, check out the condition of the building itself. You've got to keep your eyes open all the time. This is a good sign. This means a recent damp course has been done. It means someone's been keeping an eye on the general maintenance of the property. But what Siobhan doesn't want is people keeping an eye on her. See, it is a fantastic window, mm. isn't it? I mean, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but you would you really can feel see like all a gold the details. Yeah. If you were sitting in that chair, they could see the lines on your face. <laughs> <laughs> the garage impressed Danilo first time round, but there's no point in having one if your car doesn't fit, so measure both. And plan for space round the edges if you're going to use it as a workshop too. Uh, it is... Oh, we're shorter on the length, actually. Mm. It's 450 long and the car is 400 long. Just as well we checked. This one's a bit on the small side. Could the distance between Siobhan and her dream house really be measured in centimetres? So it's back into the city to make some hard comparisons. This is the only place Danilo's ever felt strongly about and his first priority, testing the most important room in the house. I can that'll do you nicely, Danilo. Yeah, there's plenty of room. This little garden belongs to the property we've been looking at mm -hmm. and it encapsulates the boundary plus the bank to the middle of the river. I can really visualise myself here with a book on a Sunday afternoon. So that's outside sorted, but what about inside? If you're ever going to be happy with this house, it's got to be this room that you reconcile yourself to. Absolutely. I mean, basically, keep the kitchen, but actually open up so when you come up the stairwell, you're opening into something that feels kind of lofty. Um, and big. Yeah. I would definitely need to remove all of that. And but I don't not... think it would be difficult. No, no, these walls aren't holding anything up. Great, so that would be quite easy to do. This is what second viewings are all about. Reappraising your priorities. You know, after having slept on it, there is an awful lot you can do to the inside. And at the end of the day, it's the outside of the building and where it is that's yeah. important, so... Yeah. OK, decision time. So what will it be, the Victorian grandeur of Laverock Bank Road or the riverside charms of Belford Mews? Mm. Give it to us. What's the guy? I have been completely and utterly sold on this one. Really? I'm sorry, you Kirsty. Traitor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Laverock Bank, beautiful house. It's almost, um, it's picture postcard. I was just so in love with the interior, but going back and revisiting, it really, really helped me to put it into perspective and see, actually, this isn't perhaps for me. The central location here is absolutely fantastic. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but it's great. They've both got what they want. A modern muse house with a country feel, a rural setting in the heart of the city. This property has got such broad appeal that we have to move fast. We both love the Belford Mews uh, property. They decided to put an offer in straight away, subject to survey. But other parties want it too, so we'll have to wait and see if our bid is successful. 
We've got to love you and leave you, but you know what you're doing. Yes, We're at the other end of a telephone. Thank you. Good luck. Let okay. us know how you go. Take care. Thanks Thank very, very much, Phil. Well. But the burning question is, did they get it? I just cannot believe we've got the house. It's absolutely brilliant. Yep, I'm very pleased as well. I actually like it. Well, hey, a result. Siobhan and Danilo have their old place on the market and plan to move to the dream house by the end of next month. But what about the price tag? We only got it by a couple of grand. So, um, and we got it for the, the prize total, and he'll start to crack this stage. Mm -hmm. 275 we ended up bidding. So a mere £75,000. More over than we thought we, we would agreed. spend. Yes, there you go, though. <laughs>